Have you ever pondered about the Ark of the Covenant? What it truly is, its origins, and the significance it holds in the Bible? This isn't just an old wooden box we're talking about. It's an artifact of profound mystery and deep religious significance. In the heart of the wilderness of Sinai, a group of people, freshly liberated from Egyptian servitude, received from Jehovah a temporary house of worship. This tabernacle, a sacred space divided into two rooms, held within its innermost sanctum, the Ark of the Covenant, an object of divine power and a symbol of God's presence among his people. Inside this Ark, there were items of great significance, a small pot of manna, Aaron's staff, and the two stone tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments. These weren't just random relics, each one held a lesson, a reminder of God's provision, authority, and the sacred laws that guided the lives of his people. Above the ark, two golden cherubim guarded the mercy seat, a place that symbolized God's presence and screened the holy God from the condemnation of the law. A potent symbol of divine mercy and forgiveness, it was here that the high priest would sprinkle blood on the Day of Atonement, pointing to the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus and the promise of a permanent redemptive system. In our journey today, we unravel the mystery of the Ark of the Covenant, its creation, and its significance throughout history. The Ark of the Covenant, a sacred artifact, has its roots in the wilderness of Sinai. As the Israelites found deliverance from Egyptian servitude, they were led to this wilderness where Jehovah blessed them with the tabernacle, a temporary house of worship. This tabernacle consisted of a holy place, and the most holy place where the Ark of the Covenant resided. The Ark was not just a beautiful piece of craftsmanship, it held within it a pot of manna, a staff belonging to Aaron, and two stone tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments. Each of these artifacts held profound significance. The manna was a reminder of the divine provision they received in their time of need, a testament to God's unwavering care. Aaron's staff was a symbol of authority and a warning against rebellion. A reminder of the time when Korah and his companions rebelled against Moses and Aaron and faced divine retribution. The stone tablets bearing the Ten Commandments were the foundation of sacred law, a guide for the people in their relationship with God and each other. The Ark served as a symbol of God's provision and authority, a vital element in the tabernacle's most holy place. But what does the Ark of the Covenant signify in the Bible and why does it matter, you may ask? Well, the Ark is much more than just a historical artifact. It's a symbol of profound spiritual significance. In the heart of the Ark, we find the Mercy Seat, a sacred space covered by two golden cherubim. This Mercy Seat is not just a lid, it's a symbol of God's divine presence among His people. It's where the holy and the human meet, where God's glory dwells. But it doesn't end there. The Mercy Seat also plays a pivotal role on the Day of Atonement. On this day, the High Priest would sprinkle blood upon the Mercy Seat. This act was not a casual ritual, but a profound symbol of atonement. It pointed forward to the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus, providing a permanent redemptive system. The Ark thus serves as a tangible representation of God's unending mercy and the promise of atonement. It reminds us of the bridge between the divine and the human, the holy and the sinful. It underscores the gravity of God's presence among us and his ceaseless efforts to reconcile us to himself. The Ark of the Covenant, thus, is not just an artifact. It's a symbol of God's presence, mercy, and atonement. The Ark of the Covenant is not just an ancient relic. It carries a profound message for us all. Within its hallowed chambers, it held symbols of divine care, a pot of manna, a testament to God's provision in times of need, and Aaron's rod, a symbol of divine authority, and a stern warning against rebellion. Let's delve into the story of Korah, a tale of defiance against God's chosen leaders, Moses and Aaron. The outcome was severe, a divine retribution that silenced Korah and his companions. This tale serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of challenging divine authority and underscores the importance of obedience and respect for divine order. But the Ark also held a message of hope and redemption. Above it was the mercy seat, a symbol of God's presence and a shield protecting us from the wrath of the law. It was here that the high priest would sprinkle blood on the Day of Atonement, a ritual pointing to the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ, offering a way of redemption for all. The Ark, in its silent eloquence, teaches us about obedience, faith, and the redemptive power of atonement. So, as we unravel the mystery of the Ark of the Covenant, what do we take away from it? 
Well, it's clear that this fascinating artifact is not only a testament to God's enduring presence, but also a symbol of his mercy and atonement. The Ark, with its contents, brings to life the lessons of God's provision. As seen in the manna, the authority and divine selection, as demonstrated by Aaron's rod and the sacred law, as inscribed on the stone tablets. It's a poignant reminder that rebellion against divine authority is futile and that faith and obedience are rewarded. Moreover, the mercy seat above the Ark, sprinkled with blood on the Day of Atonement, foreshadows the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ, providing a permanent redemptive system. This is embodied in the term propitiation on pointing to Jesus' role in satisfying God's justice and extending pardon to those who have an obedient faith. So, as we look back at the Ark of the Covenant, we are reminded of these profound lessons. It encourages us to be faithful, obedient, and appreciative of God's mercy and provision. It serves as a guidepost, steering us towards a path of righteousness. The Ark of the Covenant, a symbol of God's presence, mercy, and atonement continues to inspire and guide us even in our modern world.